Well, let's try this again, shall we? See if we can do any better from here. So, I don't know. My phone showed three bars down inside the boat. It shows three bars up here on the deck. I don't see how that could be any different one way or the other. Oh, and this stupid tarp I've got tied over my boat is just making a bunch of noise. Probably gonna keep me up all night listening to it wrap around in the wind. Anywho, so much better. Hey, pilot, how you doing? Hey, Akula, you're back? All right. Hello, Carolyn Harmon, how you doing? Brad ends much better, okay. Hey, you guys all are. Palm Limit, hey, what's up? So, uh, ha. Huh. Hey, Mary, how you doing? Yeah, it's much better now. Let's see if it holds. I, I don't know if it's going to hold. I, I don't uh, I don't see how it's any different down below than it is up here because I had three bars of cell phone service at both locations. So, hey, Jared, how you doing? So, anyhow, everybody's coming back in. We'll give it a minute or two and everybody figure out that we've started another live stream so finding your second try yeah my second try didn't work at all so that's uh, definitely better view yeah the view is much better isn't it much better so but not as comfortable so sometimes i forsake having a better view for comfort although really it's been kind of hot and sunny uh, today and so it really wasn't such a pleasant place to be out here sitting and my cockpit's kind of crowded with all the stuff I've got on here. I got a purge guys. I got a purge. So anyhow, here's the sunset Got a long ways to go yet, but that's kind of way it looks nice little lagoon 41 there in the in the sunlight pattern kind of pretty so, uh, We ever see fireworks. I don't know in blue for a sailor. I'm not in blue, Don. I'm wearing yellow. I'm wearing yellow and camouflage, so did not find it on my laptop second try. Yeah, I tried to second try and it just failed immediately, so after this live stream, I guess I'll go up and delete it, but it didn't work at all. So, anywho, this is what the dog and I did today. We, uh, yeah, it's tarp. There's a tarp. I put a shade tarp over the boat to keep rain out of the cockpit and to shade it a little bit. Oh, the blue, the blue tarp and the blue water. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Well, actually, the water is kind of green. The tarp's blue enough, but the water is kind of green. So, and somebody was asking earlier about uh, whether I tried diving down to see if I could see anything, and I did, uh, and I could not. I could not see anything down below. I couldn't see anything the length of my arm. My, if, uh, in fact, I was an arm's length away from the keel on my boat, my rudder actually, and I could not see. What are you doing? What, you want water? All right, hold on a minute, guys. I have to get the dog some water, apparently. Let me move the generator back. Move that over there. There, you want some water? You've got a whole dish full of water down below. But you want to drink out of the bucket. All right. There's, there she is. Such an abused dog. She's got her water dish down below, which I filled a little bit ago and, and dumped a bunch of ice in there for her. And she leaves that and then she comes up here and wants to drink out of the bucket. So go figure. So. Okay, I'm looking yellow too. Are you fishing for compliment? <laughs> Tarp helping with the temperatures. Uh, actually, Kula, no, not really. Um, I, I don't think it's really made uh, any difference whatsoever. So, yep, all the good looking important people are here, Pilot. You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. So, happy Independence Day, No Plastic. How you doing, man? Good to see you here. So, Anyhow, Lily and I had a great day, um, and I, I don't know if you guys heard it before, so I'm going to say it over again. I had a number of people contribute to uh, my uh, uh, PayPal account today and last night, and uh, they never uh, got acknowledged. So I just wanted to reach out and thank all those people publicly. Uh, so 
my buddy Mike, um, who, by the way, is one of the people that signed up with the Selling with Grandpa thing. Anyhow, Mike sent me $50 to PayPal. Uh, Adrian sent $25. Billy sent $50. Uh, Howard sent five and 12 degrees sent uh, 50. So for all you guys that donated to my PayPal account yesterday and today, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, no end. Money is going to be uh, most useful and helpful right now. Have a lot of projects I'm doing on the boat and they get to be kind of spendy. So I really appreciate uh, those guys who donated to the cause. So thank you guys. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about my plans and why I am here uh, just to clarify some things for people. My old boat, I used half-inch PVC pipe for a spreader and quarter-inch rope to tie it down. Yeah, I just stretched it over the top of the boom and tied it down on both sides. It shades everything, but nice view. Okay, well, I'm glad you guys like that. Yeah, it is kind of nice. Look at that, huh? Isn't that awesome? Uh, anyhow, I'm here in Port Washington for a couple of reasons. There's, there's still a lot of projects that I need to get done to this boat to make it seaworthy and to be able to make it to sail and do the things I need to do with it. Um, and there are people and resources and uh, a lot of other sailboats here in the area. And as a result of being other sailboats, there's a lot of resources here that I need. So I've got to get my halyard shortened uh, for the main. Um, so that's one project that, that we're going to be working on tomorrow. Actually, I believe tomorrow, I'm hoping I got to wait to hear from the guy, but, um, We've got to rebuild the companionway door. I've got the material to cut that out. That's not a bad project. Uh, got the propane grill fixed. I've got some holes on the deck that I need to fix. So I've got some fiberglass work. Uh, we've got the welding going on that Douglas is helping me with. Uh, I've got to, I've got to get someone that can get down inside the the locker down here and be able to put a wrench on the underside of these stainless steel bolts that hold down the rest of the push pit. Uh, so I can disassemble all of that, take it, have it fixed, and then be able to come back and, and remount that. Uh, so there's a lot of projects on the boat that I need to get done before I'm going to be able to really go anywhere or do much sailing. And I, I intentionally decided to come here to Port Washington to do that because I have friends and family here to help with logistics and, and vehicle access. Um, there's a West Marine really close by. There's a grocery store literally right across from the dock. Um, so all the resources that I need for being here doing the refit are all readily at hand and familiar to me because I know the town. I know where everything is here in Port Washington. Uh, so it's, it makes it a good spot. So that's the reason why I kind of cannonballed and came right here. I, you know, I went across Lake Erie, the Erie Canal, down the Hudson River, around New York Harbor, uh, into Long Island Sound and came here where I knew I would have all the resources I need to get this work done. Now, the high temperatures, the heat has, dog, you're going to knock your water dish over. The high heat has sort of delayed my project because it's just been too hot. I mean, it's been 97 degrees uh, each of the last four days now. So it's just been too hot to get too many projects worked on at that temperature. I've been getting up early in the morning and doing some stuff. And now that it's cooling off in the evening, I can do a little bit as well. Um, but it's really makes it difficult to do those projects when it's 97 degrees out. So hopefully now we'll be able to get to those. Get off my pad. So anyhow, um, it's, so it's been kind of my plan all along to get here and do these repairs and do this work. Now, I would like to uh, just briefly talk about, you know, all this nonsense about, oh, you've never had a sail up or whatever. I don't really care. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll get the sails up when it's time and, and when the boat's ready and equipped properly and safe is the time I'm going to put the sails up. If all these other people out there are all bent out of shape because I haven't had a sail up yet, well, that's their problem, not mine. So the boat simply isn't ready and I'm not going to do anything on the boat that would be unsafe. So cool to you back. Okay. Let me go back in and see what I'm missing in the chat here. So, uh, that view works nice. Yep. Stream from down below, like a depression era apartment backdrop. Now up top, completely different story. Oh, okay. Better nice view. Yeah, but down below, Don, I have access to my ice. I have access to my beverages. I have a comfortable chair to sit in. So it's, it's more comfortable for me and I have all my stuff there, what I need. Plus I can plug my phone in and be charging it and have a power supply, 
which I do not have right now, which means we're going to have a short live stream because I don't have the ability to plug in up here on deck. So uh, nice of Sailing Doodles to say he would come up to you. Yeah, Bill, that was not Sailing Doodles. That was not Bob. That was someone impersonating Bob. So don't be fooled by it. Bob knows better than that. Carl's going to take up permanent residence there, I fear. Yeah, I don't think so, Don. Call you back. Have you asked the water taxi driver if you know someone small to help with the wrenches? Um, no. Uh, I probably should. That's not a bad idea. So, oh, Don, I don't know why you're upset. I'm not. I'm certainly positive. So, see you back. Okay. Did Lily get to go for a walk run on shore today? Kiwa, you asked that once before, and I already answered it once before. So I'm not even going to bother this time. You know, are you just going to be a troll and just keep asking the same question until you get a different answer? I don't know what your problem is. Are you fishing now? No, I'm sitting here on my boat doing a live stream. That's what I'm doing. So, and I have a dog in my lap. I have a dog in my lap, don't I? <laughs> yes, Jeff, happy 4th of July to you too, man. Uh, you and Lily, great footage. Okay, plastic. Well, and, and that's fine, but just realize it's going to have to be a short live stream tonight now because I don't have the ability to plug in. Uh, my intention was to try to run the generator and keep the phone plugged in to build the battery up so that I could come up on deck during the fireworks and be able to air that as well. Now I'm not going to be able to do that. So you didn't hear my answer. Sorry for asking that again. Okay, well. No, no, Miss Lily did not go to shore and did not run today. She stayed here on the boat with me. The two of us stayed on the boat and played. So that's what we did today. Did you see a lot more boats coming by your anchors today? Because no, uh, no, MK500, actually just the opposite. Uh, I saw a lot of boats leave this morning, uh, but really it's, it's a quiet harbor this evening. It really is. So uh, better butter for a dinghy ride. Okay. Hello, Kerry, how you doing? Try going in the cabin again. Well, cool, I'm just, I'm, I'm here now. I'm not gonna start the generator and go back down again, so. Just try again later down below, yep, okay. Uh, you should do it up top. We're just reporting info. Director, this looks better, that's all. I, and Don, I understand completely that this looks better. Absolutely no difference, so. See, I can be nice sometimes. Well, good, good, Kerry. I, I hope you got my message earlier today on your comment. Um, you know, I tried to be nice as well. So I hope you can figure out how to do both dramatically better. Uh, actually, yes, no plastic. I will be able to do both dramatically better once I have more funds available to me to have the right infrastructure here in place. Um, I'll just leave it at that, so. Right now, I'm doing the best I can with the equipment and the funds I have available. Just bought a Pearson 35. Can you recommend hard or inflatables? Uh, Bill, no, not really. Um, I'm not. I'm not great at that. Uh, my dinghy is. Um, uh, it's a West Marine made by Zodiac. Uh, you know, Zodiac have a good track record, so I kind of recommend them, but. With a Pearson 35, you don't have the ability of having a really big boat uh, to put on davits or tow behind you or lift back on the boat. So, will you quit? So, I, I don't really have an ability to be able to recommend something for you there. Sorry. So, jump, Lily, jump. They want you to jump in the water, Lily. Don wants you to jump in the water. <laughs> So she thought about jumping in the water. She's watching a boat go by and wagging her tail at him. Here, see? There's a boat going by. There she is wagging her tail at him. Miss Lily likes walking around the deck during the daytime. She walks around and around and around up here on deck, checking out all the boats and greeting everybody as they go by them. Um, she just has a lot of fun with that, so. 35 foot boat needs a helicopter landing pad. Yeah, I don't think so. Although Pearson 35, those are pretty nice little boats. I mean, that's a nice that's a nice boat, but it definitely is. So anyhow, guys, I was talking a little bit about my plan. So when I get the work done on the boat here, which is going to take however long it's going to take, 
Not sure I want to see Carl have to activate the emergency lily net. Yeah, there you go. Right there, ready to be deployed at a moment's notice. Um, anyhow, once I get the boat repair work done, then I'm going to work my way out Long Island and head up to New England a little bit. It depends. It depends on how late it gets in the season while I'm doing the work. Um, you know, this, this idea that I'm going to be stuck here is, I mean, frankly, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I've been here all of what, a week now? So, uh, I did have corn on the cob today and it was great. Well, you had some too. Good. Yes. I, uh, I assembled my grill. You can see the propane bottle and the valve and the arm hanging from underneath the grill right there. I got my grill all assembled and I, uh, I did corn on the cob and a kielbasa, not kielbasi, but a kielbasa, Frank. <laughs> I had a kielbasa for dinner. I had half a kielbasa. Somebody else had the other half of the kielbasa. Who was that? Who's got kielbasa breath now, huh? Yeah, so the dog ate half the kielbasa. She did not get any of the corn, however. I made three ears of corn, but I only ate two. I set one of them back. I still may in Newport Block in late July and August. Okay. Yep, I understand. No, I'm not I'm not staying here permanently. I just it's been too hot to be able to do too much work outside, so we will uh, we'll get going here fairly soon. Yeah, Jared, that's uh, exercise in futility, man. It really is. Um, <laughs> just exercise in futility. Most people don't, so it is what it is, but Anyhow, I don't know what else we're going to talk about because the 4th of July is coming and you know, I really haven't seen hardly anything going up. Usually there would be some boom bang stuff here later. Maybe what I should do is, uh, well, thank you, MK500. MK500 just did uh, I, apparently $20 on Super Chat. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Most appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think what I may end up having to do is probably cut this live stream short, fire up the generator, go down below and charge my phone. And then if we get some fireworks going off, I'll come back up on deck and show those to you. So they would engage less and exercise in exercises of futility. Well, maybe so, Don, maybe so, maybe so. Can I help you? Huh? You know, you got your whole other side of the boat for you. You know, you don't have to be here on my side of the boat. You could be on the other side of the boat. What common sense tactics would like us to use uh what common sense okay is it kielbasa kielbasa or kielbasa doesn't matter what you call it it tastes great there you go frank i agree with that i agree with that no i guess you know uh sounds like a plan i guess you know just so many people will sometimes ask questions that are, are either a very you know pointed leading question because they're trying to poke me for you know, an answer or whatever to to uh, to serve their agenda, um, and I just don't want to get involved in all that stuff. So, don't bitch, don't be trollish. There you go, there you go. Exactly it. Yeah, you know, common sense. There you go, Don. Typical stuff. Yep, typical stuff. So, uh, you having fun? Huh, you having fun? It's really nice and cool out here right now. I don't know what it says it is in the boat. It says it's 84 down below, but I bet you it's almost 79 up here on deck. Um, when I run the, the boat, when I run the generator, of course, it heats up the refrigeration, trying to make the refrigerator cool. And the refrigeration unit, the compressor unit and all that's directly underneath the cook stove. So that makes the cabin hot while it's making the refrigerator cold. So it makes it even hotter down below than what it would normally be. So, I'd be brave, clean, loyal, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful. I was a life scout. There you go, Don. Yeah, Thrifty, I think Thrifty's in there too, isn't it? If I remember. Is Thrifty in there? Huh? Is Thrifty in there? You don't know? What was that? Did you just belch? Did you guys hear that? She just belched on me. I missed several. Yes, you did, Don. Anyhow, look at that sunset. Oh, man. Oh, I just saw lightning right in front of me. 
Huh. Okay. Well, maybe that wasn't lightning. Maybe that was a firework, but that was weird. Sure looked like lightning, but then it sounded like a firework. Huh. Still a bit early. Still a bit early. We got another hour or so at least, so. Joey Jaws ate 74 hot dogs today in the Nathan's contest. Wow. Uh, how deep is the water here? Brad, I'm in, uh, depending on the tide, probably, uh, you know, 12 to 18 feet, 12 to 15 feet of water, something like that. I thought it was 64. You thought what was 64? Because of the heat. Yes. Is there any way to film fireworks with separate camera? Um, probably, but I do not have the technology to do that. So uh, I could film fireworks with a separate camera, but then it couldn't be live because I don't have the technology to do that. So I just sub. We'll see SC. Welcome. I'm glad you joined us, man. Thank you. Hey, Billy, how you doing, man? By the way, Billy, I, I you missed it earlier. If you just got here, I thanked you for your donation from yesterday. So thanks again, buddy. I appreciate it. I was uh, kind of surprised a little bit by some of it. So yes, welcome CSC. What are you doing back there? Well, thanks, Billy. I appreciate it, ma'am. Aw, oh, what? What? Huh? What do you want? What do you want? There's no more kielbasa. You can't have any more kielbasa. I already ate, you and I ate it all. I ate half, you ate half. You're not getting any corn on the cob because your digestive system doesn't do well like that. Yeah, she's a good dog. She's a good dog. Ronald, do you have a thumbs up? It does not cost you anything. Well, thank you, Ronald. I appreciate that. Yes, it does. Does not cost you anything. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up, guys. So, okay, come on, don't don't knock me over. Don't knock me over. Ah! She comes over and she she just sort of leans into me. And when she, you know, 80 pound dog, it's a lot to lean into you. So, oh, nice breeze blowing finally. It it did not have any breeze blowing at all at all until about three o'clock. It was perfectly still out here. The water was flat. So, do you like dogs? Okay. Yep, thumbs up is free. Happy fourth, thank you, Cliff. How you doing, man? Happy fourth to you too. So, anyhow, I think what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this so I can charge my phone and come back up once the fireworks start. So, on bow and run extension cord to cockpit for cell phone. I, um, no, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not carrying my generator all the way up onto the bow. No, not doing that. It's too heavy for that. So no charge for clicking on thumbs up. Yep. Have fun. Have a great evening. Fireworks here at 930 there. Okay. You're going to be on later then. Yeah, uh, Billy, I'm going to go, I'm going to fire up my generator, go down and charge my phone. Because I'm, I'm uh, any moment now, I'm going to get a notice from my phone saying my battery's about dead. And then once it gets dark and the fireworks starts, I'll come back up and start doing a live stream again up on deck. And that way you guys will be able to see the fireworks. It's going to be a little difficult from here because there's going to be fireworks probably in a 360 degree circle around me. All around the bay, people will be lighting stuff off. And so I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know, be jamming the phone around back and forth like that, trying to aim it at where the fireworks are happening. So I don't know. We'll try. But anyhow, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me shut down and I'll try to come back up on deck uh, when the fireworks begins and show that stuff to you guys then. So anyhow, we'll have more for you later, kids. Be good. Be careful. See you then. Bye.